now that we're in our life safe environment, our lights are on, all the rest of our lights are off, we have our screen that we are going to put our emotion on. Okay. First thing we want to make sure is that since we are in a high school, um, a lot of times other high school students might not have cleaned the screen properly before. I know shocking to you, but that's generally what happens. So you want to make sure that there's no ink on there, there's no dirt on there. If there is any ink or anything like that on your screen, make sure that it is cleaned, degreased, and uh, dry before you start. Um, you can check that sometimes by holding it up to the light, looking and seeing if there's any marks. Um, on this one, you probably can't see, there's a little mark right there, um, which means that there was ink left over. I would take that over and clean it off in that process and get that ready. Um, but for this demonstration, it should work out fine. When we're using our screen too, the other thing, if, if, it's, if the screens have been sitting for a while, it might get some dust or dirt on there. Um, you might want to make sure that it's cleaned off in that process too. Sometimes just a matter of taking our hands and just wiping any of that dirt or dust or hair or anything that's been on there on both sides, a lot of times we'll remove a lot of that too. Double check by holding it up to the light and seeing if anything's on there. Now, when we're working with our screens, we want to make sure that we put down some newsprint per first. That way any dirt or ink that's anything on the table uh, won't help get on our screens in the process. When we're working with our screen, we want to make sure that it is the screen side up. That way we're not setting it down on the, the table this way. So make sure that it's screen side up this way. Okay. Now we have to get our emulsion, um, and we're going to be using sheet emulsion with this process first and uh, measuring that out and cutting it for that process. So the tools that you'll need for this, you need to make sure that you have the spray bottle that has water in it. What is it? It says water. You'll need a squeegee. And you'll need a pair of scissors. Now the emulsion is back here in this locked cabinet. It says screen printing on it. You'll have to get the keys for me in order to get this emulsion out. The emulsion's in these containers. Okay. You'll have to open it up. Take these out. It's in this light safe container. Have to open up the bag. Pull off the paper. And in this paper is our emulsion. Now, um, the emulsion is basically a um, polymer based. Um, emulsion that's being held on there by this plastic on the outside. Okay, This plastic is not the emulsion, this is what's holding it on, all the emulsions on the inside. So you want to be careful with this. Make sure your hands are dry, not wet, because if you have wet hands, that's going to start um, making that emulsion come off that plastic. So we need to measure off to make sure that our emulsion is, first off, big enough to fit on our screen and big enough for our image as well. I'm going to set these scissors here just to hold this down. Hold this down. Uh, my image that I have is this one. Okay. Now I need to make sure that my emulsion is at least an inch to two inches larger than my image that's on my transparency. Okay. So. I can trim this down to fit my image that's here. Okay. Now, using scissors works pretty well with this. And a lot of times I'll hold it on my screen, which is fine. You could hold it just directly on your newsprint too. You'll notice that it starts to roll up on you. Sometimes I'll take another pair of scissors and hold that down to make it easier for me to cut or something else that might be something to hold it down. So I can cut this just a little bit bigger than my transparency. Now I have my emulsion set to my um, size of my transparency. I know that my emulsion needs to go this way 
because this is the way I'm going to be putting it onto my um, printing press. I'm going to set my transparency off to the side again. This is the emulsion I'm going to use. I'm going to put the rest of my emulsion back in the container. If I have the large sheets, I'll wrap that back up. Put that back in the plastic. Put this back in my container. the cover back on. Now if I have any scrap pieces, I want to put that back with there's another container that's in here that says scrap pieces on it. And then you could put those scrap pieces into this that someone could use for later um, for something else. And I can put these away. Always before you start working or putting your emulsion or using any water, make sure these are covered up and put back in the cabinet. Now that I have my emulsion, I need to put that onto uh, my screen. Now, generally, I'm going to try to center this in my screen as much as possible. Okay. And I'm going to set this to the side because I don't necessarily want to get that wet right away. Once again, to make this stick and have that emulsion start to um, stick on our screen and release from the plastic, I have to use water. So to do this, I'm going to take my screen, take my water, and spray my screen down on both sides, fairly liberally, which means a lot. Okay. Now, once that's on there, I can take my emulsion. And I know that I want to have this in the center of the screen, so I'm going to try to get that in the center as best as possible. Just by laying down one side, one corner, and then just draping it across. I can spray the back of this again. This helps with the squeegee. Now I'm going to squeegee from the center out, and I'm going to press fairly hard doing it. That starts to press the emulsion into the screen. You'll see that it's starting to look like it's in there. You'll see those white spots, meaning that the emulsion's not quite in the screen. Now I can set this screen side down on here, and I can squeegee again. Go working from the center out, multiple directions. If I still have any spaces that it still doesn't seem like it's sticking, I can take my water and spray it again, and then use my squeegee for the center out until I don't see any of those white bubbles anymore. And it should be fairly solid. Now I could check this by holding it up to the light and looking and see if there's any bubbles or dirt or anything like that that's in there. If there is, I could use my finger with some water. I can put a little bit of water on there and hold my finger on the back side and kind of push that through. Okay. Now, once it's all on there and the emulsion is on there completely, I'm going to put this over here on my drying rack. The screen side up. Then I can turn on my fan, and we're going to wait between about 20 to 30 minutes. So we'll come back in a little bit, and I'll show you the process of, of uh, exposing our screens and washing it out.